Hey guys, Naomi Kyle here. If you've been playing Destiny, then there's a chance that you've found a gold treasure chest or two, adding valuable gear to your collection of guns and armor. Well, there's five gold chests on each planet, and guess what? We know where they all are. Don't worry though, we'll share those locations with you right now. <laughs> First up, let's take a trip to Earth. The first gold treasure chest can be found between the steeps and the divide. Go into the building and it'll be sitting on a bench. Next, head into the Dark Within mission. In the location where you fight the wizard, hop on top of the little structure and you'll find it tucked away in the corner. When heading to the Forgotten Shore, you'll pass a little cave, hop in to find the next chest. If you continue following this path to the left, you can find a little overlook. Jump down onto the cliffs below and you'll find another gold chest. The final chest can be grabbed during the Devil's Lair strike mission in the last room where you fight Sepik's Prime. Below where he initially appears, you'll find a chest tucked away by a pile of bones. Now let's head to the moon. I've heard wizards are from there. Hmm. The first can be found on your way to the Hellmouth. Drive over here on your sparrow and look between the rocks. Next on your way to the Hall of Wisdom, go through the broken down dome building into the temple and then down the spiral to where you'll see the black water. If you follow it around, you'll see a chest in the corner. In the story mission, The World's Grave, you can grab a chest near the end of the mission. It's by the spawning pool sitting on a ledge. During the Chamber of Night story mission in the Temple of Crota, you'll see a series of platforms in the central room. Jump down them to find the next chest. Finally, during the Summoning Pit strike mission in the final area, you'll find the last chest past Fogoth. It's on the stairs below. Now let's fly over to Venus. The first chest can be grabbed while exploring or on your first mission. It's by the shattered coast through the hole in the ground and sitting near a broken pillar. In the N-Gen branch, you can find a small office on the right filled with cubicles. Look in them and you'll find the next chest. In the Canvas 9 area, you'll see a large waterfall. In the bunker, the furthest away from it, on the other side, you'll find a chest tucked away in the corner. The last two can only be found during the Scourge of Winter mission. The first is located on top of some cliffs in the Winter's Lair area. The last chest can be found on the big ship near the end of the mission. Head to the bow of the ship and you'll find the last treasure chest. Last but not least, Mars. The first chest on Mars is pretty easy to find. It's in this little bunker sitting on top of some crates. Nice. Next in the Barrens, just before the Hollows, you'll go through this broken down old building. Notice the broken roof? Well, jump up there to grab the next chest. The next one is found in the Dust Palace. While exploring this area, you'll see a door with a three on it. Head in there and you'll find the chest in a cubicle. In the Iron Line area, where you fight a ton of the Cabal, you can find the next chest. From the big door, hop up on the pipes to the left, get on top of the platform up top, jump across to the other one, and you'll find the chest in the corner. The last chest can be found during a mission called a Rising Tide. In the back corner of the Tharsis Junction, you'll see a portal the Hive are entering from. In the office behind it, you'll find a chest in the corner. And that's it! You've now found all 20 chests in Destiny. Is there anything else you've been dying to find out about Destiny? Let me know in the comments below. We'll keep exploring and finding new tips and tricks to bring your way. For IGN, I'm Naomi Kyle, and thanks for watching.